In this video, we will see how to install diagrams.net software in your laptop so that you can use it to create flowcharts for various programming concepts you are going to learn in this course. First, open any browser and go to diagrams.net website. The purpose of this diagrams.net is to create diagrams of any type. In our case, we are going to use specifically for creating flowcharts. The main advantage of this software is that it is free to use and it's very lightweight. In case of corporate network, you most likely will have enterprise applications such as Microsoft VCO to create flowcharts and various advanced charting methods. In, in your case, for learning purpose, you can very well use this website to create simple flowcharts in your personal laptop. Note that diagrams.net is a rebranded name for draw.io. In case you have heard draw.io or used them in the past, then diagrams.net is exactly the same. It's just the name has been changed by the company for their own security reasons. Let us now start installing the software into your system. Go ahead and click the download button to download the setup in your machine. As you can see, they have multiple versions which you can install as well as they have different installers. As of now, we have the version 13.3.5. By the time you see or use this software, it, you might have given a new version. You can install whichever is the latest one. So here, let us go and install Windows installer. It's going to prompt you the message to download the file. Depending on your speed, it might take few seconds. It's almost going to end. It's, it's about 65 MB as of now. Once the setup is downloaded, click the file to start the installation process. This will bring up the installation wizard for draw.io. As you can see, the brand name is still draw.io. Maybe in shortly, they will start rebranding it to diagrams.net as well. So for now, it's going to be draw.io and let us proceed to the next step. As you can see here, the installation is very simple. If you want, you can change the default destination folder, but you can just ignore and proceed with the same path and just click install to begin the installation. It's going to be very fast because this software is very lightweight. Once the installation is complete, you can click finish. This will launch the software and bring up the first page. Here you have given a two choice. Either you can create a new diagram or you can open an existing diagram. Let us go ahead and click the first button to create a new diagram. Now these are the different types of diagrams you can create using this software. We have the basic ones, charts, engineering related diagrams, flowcharts, maps, software, tables and various different types. For now, we can let's go ahead and create a flowchart. Click on the flowchart type and click create. Before clicking create, if you want to change the name, you can go ahead and change the name of the file. Let's make it flowchart1.draw.io. If you notice carefully, draw.draw.io is the extension being used by them. Let's click create. This is going to create the default flowchart created by the software. As you can see here, it has created a simple flowchart for a simple statement where they try to explain what are the steps involved in repairing a lamp. To explain the interface of this software, here we have the menu. Here we have the main canvas where you create the flowcharts. In the left hand side, we have various sections like scratch pad where you can temporarily hold your diagrams over here. You can drag and drop them here to keep as a temporary placeholder. And we have a general section where it contains all the common shapes which is used in general. In our case, to create flowcharts, I mostly use the symbols present here. Next, if you scroll down, you can see the main section called flowchart. This contains all the shapes which is related only to flowchart. If you hover it on each of these elements, it's going to explain you what are these refers to. For example, the diamond means is a decision making and if it's a oval, it's a terminator. These are the transfer arrows, start and so on. In the right hand side, it shows the properties for the elements which you have currently selected. So for example, if you select this and then it's going to show the various properties which you can set. You can change the color, you can change the type, background color and so on. One final point to note is that you can use one single file and can create multiple flowcharts. 
As you can see here, this is referred as page 1. You have the plus symbol which you can press to create the second flowchart, page 2. You can click and you can rename it. Flowchart Diagram 2. So it's going to rename this page and we have the page 1. So you can create any number of diagrams within a single file. And you can use drag and drop these files and these types of different elements to start creating the flowcharts. Once you are done with changing the flowchart or creating the new one, you can click this button to save the changes. So far we saw how you can download diagrams.net software in your laptop, install the same and start using the flowchart. This is the first method of using it. There is second approach of using this diagrams.net. It is by using the web version of their software. To use this, you can directly go to the website and instead of clicking on the download button, you see a button to just start. As this text below mentions, no login or registration is required. So it means that once you click on this button, it's going to open the same software in the web. This is especially useful if you don't want to install in your laptop or you want to use it in any machine without installing, such as in your work laptop and so on. Once you click on the diagram.net and then click start, it's going to show the first page prompting you to save the diagrams. You can choose various locations such as Google Drive, OneDrive, device, device refers to your local laptop and many other settings. If you want, you can decide it later as well. So let's go ahead and decide later and click it. And this is going to load the first page. As you can see, this is exactly same as the software version which you had installed in your desktop. Then you can start creating your first flowchart. Once you start creating and you want to do some changes, what, what it's going to do is, it's going to prompt you to save the changes. And when you click, as you can see, there will be many different options. As we saw before, we can save to Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, GitHub, Browser, Device. So these are the different options. In fact, I strongly recommend you to download this software and use in your machine. If you prefer to store completely in the web, then I suggest you to store in either Google Drive or OneDrive or even say Dropbox. So in this way, these files get saved in the online drive and you can access it from any machine. Having said this, you might be wondering whether to use the desktop version or the web version. It actually depends on you. Personally, I feel that the desktop version is a lot better because it's going to perform faster and it's go, you get the local copies of various files. And you don't need to be online in order to use this desktop version. So if you ask me, then I strongly prefer for you to download and install diagrams.net software in your laptop.